Hey guys, Winky Games here. Well, alright, I'm gonna get started with you guys. Um, this is an introduction to Minecraft. Uh, so, this is like, kind of, how to survive the first night of Minecraft if you're not a very good Minecraft player. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of teach you how to do that. I'm gonna create a new world. Um, and it's gonna be a survival world. Um, I'm not gonna name it right now because this is just kind of a... Yeah, introduction. So, uh, once you've created your first world, or so, uh, the best way to start out your first night, um, is by just basically following what I do. Um, you won't have the same map as me. Minecraft doesn't generate, uh, the same map. Um, it's one out of, like, <laughs> you can't even count. Uh, so with the new Minecraft, uh, it's rare to ever get near any, um, uh, mountains, <clears throat> but that's okay, because you can make an underground or so thing, but find some trees, uh, is the best thing to start out with, uh, you might like my, I do have a editor here, but I'm gonna turn it off, I have a cool little halo dude. I have a little bit of trouble here. Alright. So basically find some trees. And you kind of want to not rush too much. But. Oh, come on. Why does it do this? Sorry. Minecraft's being stupid lately. Uh, but it's crushed on me a few times like this. Um, but that's okay. I'll get back into it. Once in a while, it would do that to me, and then I just reload the game, and it's perfectly fine, and I can keep going for quite a while. So let me reload my map. Alright. So find your tree, and just start, like, digging it. You just hold down the uh, left mouse button, and you'll get an achievement. If you have the full game, you'll get an achievement. You may have a uh, torrent or something, which is illegal, just to let you know <laughs> so if you get caught with that you might get in trouble but that's okay I have a lot of toys too so um, you just dig out these trees um, I'm only gonna dig out a little bit because we don't need a ton all right and then as you can see um, I'm going to Put this into a box. This is your crafting box right here. Um, so you can just keep putting stuff. You can kind of experiment with that. Uh, see what you get. So if you just put your wood here, you'll get wood planks. And you just get a bunch of those. Then you can use these and put it in a square. And you'll get a crafting box or a crafting table. And what this crafting table basically does. Um, sorry, one second. Is it gives you th uh, three by three instead of a two by two, so you can create things more advanced. Uh, right now, I'm only going to make sticks, uh, so you can make the sticks, and then you're going to want to make a shovel. To make a shovel, just put a wood plank there and put two sticks here, because we're going to make a little hidey hole for us. Uh, so to do this, uh, find kind of a hill, or you can even just dig straight down. Uh, sometimes you can find little hidey holes are ready in here but that's not the best way to go so if I dig the dirt with a shovel it makes it a lot a lot faster as you can see if I try to dig it with just my hand it's a lot slower so I'm just gonna make this hidey hole make sure you give yourself enough room so if you really want to you can just kind of move around Okay, so at this point, uh, I would suggest actually making a uh, a uh, pickaxe or a wooden axe, sorry. And you and you just put them like that, and then come down like that. And you can keep experimenting with this throughout your game experience to figure out new things. And if you use this. I'm going to actually pick up my crafting table. The only way to do that is you can dig it out, but it's faster if you use a, uh, 
wooden axe or any type of axe, a stone axe would work also. So we kind of have our hidey hole right there. Um, one thing that I didn't change back is we do want it on easy because uh, basically I'm going to show you some things. As you can see, we're getting kind of close to mountains, and that's a good thing. You want to move your house a uh, ways away, and if you die, uh, it'll take you back to that area where you s first spawned. Unless you build a bed, um, and I'm not going to teach you how to build a bed. Uh, I will have a video up later uh, on how to build some stuff on Minecraft, just some crafting basics, like a, how to build a bed and stuff. So, and this is 1.4. Um, so, if you have like a later on in the future or something, if there's a 1.5 uh, and so on, then yeah. Well, actually, this is 1.2.4, so later on you might get some things that are different and you might think, okay, what the crap is he doing? But, you know, whatever. So basically, once you have a hidey hole, you're basically set. And you can just keep get, uh, getting resources, like I'm doing here. Oops, sorry. Don't let go. You have to hold down, otherwise it will um, break and stuff. So I'm not very good at this game when it comes to hardcore survival and you get into the nether world and the ender world and stuff um i've actually never quite fully beat the game myself <laughs> little coincidence um so i don't expect you guys to beat the game for quite a while uh if you're definitely if you're a new player if you're like me i actually could do it if i really put my mind to it okay so basically What's happening is that sun's about, you want to manage your time really well. So this sun is about mid-sky. And so we're doing pretty good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a pickaxe. To do this, you just put four like that. Oh, sorry. We actually need some more sticks. Uh, to make sticks, you just boom, boom. Sorry. We're going to want to make two pickaxes. So put two, two like that and then split these and you'll get two pickaxes uh, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to those mountains and find some uh, coal we're gonna try to find some coal you know what in fact actually we're gonna make a new hidey hole when we get over there you can make a hidey hole like that try to get as close to a mountain as you can while you're making a hidey hole because then you can look for other resources. Basically what I'm going to be looking for is coal. Because you're going to want to have light in your hidey hole. Otherwise you're going to be sitting there waiting for the night. Unless you get advanced and you just want to go and uh, get uh, Minecraft edit or an inventory edit that like mine. Which will let you um, uh, change it from day to night and stuff. So basically, I'm just trying to, I'm coming over here trying to find some coal. If I can find some coal, I can make torches, and I will show you how to make torches. It might take me a minute to find the torch, or try to find the right stuff. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I am a lucky person. Uh, just look in mountains of stone. This is stone, and you should find coal, and this is what coal looks like, unless you have a... Uh, texture pack on then it's going to look different but you shouldn't have texture pack if you're a new player so just sometimes you'll find big patches of coal sometimes you won't um, in case in this case it's actually a decent size hole of um, coal and you know what I can even turn this into my hidey hole um, which I'm going to do Okay, so once I have this, uh, I can just kind of cover this up with dirt. And to place dirt, place things, you just right click. Um, so I'm going to keep digging through. And this stuff digs really fast uh, with this stuff. And you'll keep getting to where you get diamond and other resources. So this is actually going to be my home for a while. So later on when I get a, get to some sheep get to finding some sheep and stuff until you have a sword you can't really fight the zombies at nighttime see the sun's starting to come down I really gotta 
start making my stuff. So I'm going to put my crafting table down. I brought my crafting table with me. All right. And so um, now I can create what I want. And I'm going to create a torch. To create a torch, just get some sticks. I'm going to make four torches. Sorry. So here we go. So four... So I have 16 torches now, and you know, that seems like a lot, but it actually runs out pretty quick. So I'm going to put my torch there, and now I'm going to go out and try to find some animals. Because, as you can see, my life is starting to go down a little bit. So, um, now what we're going to do is, actually, to be able to find our hidey hole again, I'm going to do this. Just outline my door so I can see it in the dark. If it becomes dark or starts to become dark so basically just look for an animal uh, preferably a cow or a pig uh, because they will give you better stuff um, if you attack a wolf you're not gonna get as much you might not get exactly what you want all right here's some cows uh, you can use you can make a sword um, and I'll show you that over the first night and stuff. So you can actually just use your hands or use this pickaxe thing. I'm using the pickaxe thing because it's a lot faster. I'm trying to hurry to get some food. I'm going to quickly kill this cow. There we go. So now I have some meat and it also gives you XP. So now I'm going to try to run back to my hidey hole uh, because it's starting to become night and <clears throat> I don't want to die by creepers or zombies and all of those nasty little beasts. Um, definitely on the first night. So I'm going to run back. And then to prevent um, any zombies from getting through just do that um, and you can still kind of see out to see when it becomes daytime and stuff um, but yeah so now I'm going to show you how to make a um, an oven to cook your food in so take some cobblestone and just make it into a square like that with the empty spot and you get a furnace um, with a furnace you just place it down you can open it up and put your food there, <clears throat> then put your coal there, and then it will cook. Um, and so, now you would just wait for it to be done. And we got one steak. You can save this food and stuff. Whoops. If I eat it by hold, right holding, or holding down the right uh, mouse key, then I eat it and I feel a lot refreshed so I'm gonna cut out back this way to actually make something more I'm gonna make a chest so I can put some stuff there in case if I die um, later on so I can come back and get that stuff and it won't disappear to make a chest um, I'm gonna need a lot more wood so turn all your wood into wooden planks and you're gonna come around in with a like you made the furnace but just with wood and you're gonna wanna you can make a small one or a big one uh, me because I'm really good at getting resources I'm making a big one so to make a small one you just place it there and you got a little small chest and as you can see it's kinda small uh, gives you more inventory space up here and then if you put one right next to it it makes it a bigger one pretty nice um, in fact it actually doesn't even double it, it almost triples it doesn't it I think whatever <clears throat> but uh, that's what you can do so I'm gonna put my meat in there and my torches so I don't die later on my coal and all my valuable stuff um, that I will need okay and I'm gonna actually show you what zombies and stuff look like because if you're following this tutorial uh, on your first night you'll know what they look like and know what to run away from 
It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, he's a little nasty bugger. As you can see, I can get him to follow me, and I can even fight him. I'm really good at fighting, and so you might not want to try to fight him. Oh, he's coming after me. You can fight him if you really want to, otherwise, no. And basically, zombies, all they're really good for is, um, uh, for the experience. But, yeah. So, that's basically the basics of it. And once you have this hidey hole, you can wait till morning. And so, I'm going to turn it morning real quick. So, once it's morning, zombies will actually start to burn up and die. And so, if I come and try to find a zombie... You might get to experience a cool burning. Although skeletons won't burn. Um, instead, skeletons won't. And those guys won't burn. So you have to be really cautious with these guys. These guys, I recommend killing them by making them blow up like this. Or actually killing them. Or you can drop them down in a hole to where they can't get back up. As you can see, that zombie's burning to death. And he's actually having fun burning to death. So I can... Oh, crap. So as you can see, he blew up. And he may drop some resources that I can use, like wood and stuff. He made that tree do stuff. Skeletons, if you kill them or let them die from fire... Or not fire, from other stuff. They, um... You might get some cool stuff from them. There's my little house. So, I'm just kind of coming up on the top of the mountain for fun. But that's basically my video for today. Um, and I hope this actually was a help to you. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste of me making that video. <laughs> but you know what? I enjoy helping you guys how to learn how, learn how to play Minecraft and how to play in survival mode. In creative mode, you can create whatever you want. And I have videos on how to make stuff in creative mode. You can make stuff in uh, survival mode, that or that stuff in survival mode, but I really strongly suggest being in creative mode because, well, yeah, you can kind of figure out why. Life will regenerate. One thing is, life will regenerate only if you have full, uh, if you're not hungry. So if you're hungry and you need some food, then yeah, it won't regenerate. But you can just keep looking for resources. You can plant trees, wait a while, and they'll come back. Or make later on experimenting. You might get bone meal, and you combine those, and you know, clip the tree with it and stuff, and you get a big tree and stuff. Um, and you know what? That's my video. And thanks for watching. You guys can subscribe if I put more videos. You can email, and you'll know that I made a new video. Um, so I'll see you guys later.